let's put a transducer on my Triton boat. This is not too hard of a job. The transducer is going to mount on the back of the boat. I'm going to have to run the cable up and in through here. And once I get inside here, I'll be running that cable up the edge of this boat on the inside all the way to the console. So let's get started. Now a couple things I'm going to need for this job are these right here. And this is what uh, electricians use to run wire in houses a lot of times. And they're just, it's a fiberglass wire running kit and they're about five bucks at Harbor Freight. And it's a lot of these little things here and they screw together. So what you can do is you can run this inside here and then you just screw one on, push it up, screw another one on, push it up. So we can either run this from that end this way, hook onto our wire and pull it out, or we can put our wire on here, tape it up and run it up that way. Either way will work. Now, before I start running that cable, I do want you to know one thing. Don't go through here and start running your cable up. Make sure you go into your hatch first because if you run that cable up, you're gonna have to pull it back out and then go in through here. So I'm gonna go in through this hatch and once I get in here, see those gray cables running up that direction. That's where I'm headed with it. I've pulled a lot of extra cable in here, make that a little easier. Right here, I took this uh, panel off along with my radio, and that's gonna make it easier to get this uh, fiberglass rod in there. And I'm gonna take it in there and then go back toward the back of the boat. I'll run my rod first all the way through here and into my hatch, and then I'll connect my cable to it and pull it back out. That's gonna be the easiest way to do that. Okay, you can see my rod there. And it's running back here, and we should be able to see it down in here. Now I've got that taped off to my end of my rod. Make sure you tape the front part of this, and that way you don't get anything hung right here when you're pulling it back through, because that can stop your progress. Now I'm going to pull these rods out. And every time I get to a joint, I'm going to go ahead and take it loose. Pull it up to the next one. Take it loose. Now make sure when you're taking these loose that this one's not turning because you don't want to unscrew it in the middle of your, of your rod and then have it stuck in there have to pull that cable back out the other side. Make sure I'm past that. There we go. It's easier doing it with two hands, but I'm holding the camera with one, so. There it is. Now, I'm not coming out this hatch, but right up in here behind this dash, I've got a hole where uh, I can run that cable on through and up through that hole and then out behind the dash back here. Now then you come down here and mount the transducer. This is the biggest transducer I've ever seen. It's a Lorentz 3-in-1. Um, you'll see I've got this thing here. You can get these at Tractor Supply. I mean, not Tractor Supply. You can get these at Cabela's or Bass Pro or any boat shop. And this glues to your hull, and then you can drill into it. And that's the way I mounted this. So you just mount uh, your frame per instructions to this, and then get your transducer level, and you're good to go.